Hello there, adventurers. Ben. Danielle. Astro. Berkey. And you're watching Vlogmas 2021 here with the Malik Adventures, where each day we are reading a new story from the Storybook Collection Advent Calendar that we found at Burlington Co Factory. So make sure you're sticking around and listening into our wonderful stories. Uh, and make sure each day that you like the video, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on what you liked about that day's story. But before we get too far into it, yeah. It's been a lot of days. I can't believe we're still doing this. <sighs> wow. This was a lot of work. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's start over. On the 17th day of vlog, Miss Malik Adventures read to me. Casper just moved the camera. The dogs are still here. Uh, so yeah. The dogs move. Hold on. Wait. Technical difficulties. No, there we go. Yes, 17th day of Vlogmas. <laughs> Dog difficulties now. <sighs> this is probably the most entertaining video up to date because the dogs. Quiet on set. I know you don't record with us very much, but shush. And today, it is still not Stitch. It is Matter Saves Christmas from Cars. Mater? Mater, matter, mater, mater. I need to do a redneck voice. Yeah, because it's. <laughs> Just think of Larry the Cable Guy. Get her done. All right. <laughs> this ought to be entertaining. The morning sun sparkled on the snow in Radiator Springs. Mater the tow truck rushed over to Flo's carrying a letter. Y'all finished your list of Santa call, right? He asked. Sure did, replied Flo, the lovely 50s show car. Absolutely, said Doc Hudson, the town judge and doctor. All right, exclaimed Mater as he headed for the post box. Mater was just about to post his letter when he heard a familiar voice. Come on, Mater. Surely even you know that Santa car isn't real, said Chick Hicks. Next, you're going to tell... Um, I was like, what are you doing? Next, you're going to tell me that the Easter buggy don't exist neither, Maida said. Then he dropped his letter into the post box. Yeah, there's so many different characters you gotta keep. I don't watch Cars. I haven't watched it since the very first one. <sighs> what are you doing here, chick? Asked Lightning, Lightning McQueen suspiciously. Oh, hey, Lightning. Didn't see you there. I just came by to donate to Red's toy drive, replied Chick. Lightning frowned. He was sure that Chick was up to no good. Just then, Sheriff arrived. I'm afraid I have some bad news, folks. Petrol stations up and down the route have been robbed. All the fuel has been stolen. I imagine that's what his voice sounds like. The townsfolk gasped in shock. Have they caught the thieves yet? Asked Doc. Not yet, replied Sheriff. Even the fuel tanks at the post office have been drained. Is that like water to them? Yeah. I don't know. Where's the oil? Ooh. Without fuel, the post vans can't get through. That means the letters won't get to Santa Car. That means no Christmas. I'm, I think I'm a little too far southern. Not redneck. Too southern. Mater immediately drove over to the fuel pump. Fill her up, Flo. I'll go to the North Pole and take the letters to Santa Car myself, he declared. I I'm, do declare. I do declare, bless, bless Saint Saint Claire. Claire. I'm trying, said Flo, but there's no fuel. Sure enough, Flo's place had been robbed, too. Mater narrowed his eyes at Chick, who was chuckling with his friends. Fillimore, the hippie van, whispered to Mater, Meet me at the dome in five. Mm. Just getting all the voices in today. When Mater got to the dome, Fillmore filled the tow truck's tank with the last of his Christmas brew. Mater was thrilled. Fillmore made Mater promise to put his letter on the top of the pile for Santa Car. 
Never stop believing, man, he said. Back at Flo's, Mater got ready to head out with the letters, but the townsfolk were worried, especially Lightning. He couldn't let Mater go alone. He knew what he had to do. Mater, I'm coming with you, Lightning said. But you can't, exclaimed Mater. You don't even have snow tires. Did somebody, I'm sorry. Did somebody say a tires, said Luigi, the yellow Fiat. Oh, yes, I like that again. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I hope nobody gets mad at me for these voices. I apologize. It's just <laughs> what happens in my head. Just as if lightning were in a race, Guido, the Italian forklift, gave him a quick pit stop. Then Sarge, the army jeep, what? added some... <laughs> yeah, and sound effects. Oh, sound effects. Look at that. Day 17, we're getting sound effects. Now that's what I call good looking. No pole, here we come, Mater exclaimed. Oh, timing belt, oh, timing belt, how lovely is your rubber? Mater sang as he and Lightning started their long journey to the North Pole. Was it that good? I thought it was pretty good. You thought it was pretty good down there, yeah? I do. I do declare. <laughs> what are we turning to Creole now? I mean, we weird. <laughs> the two friends made their way through deep snow and tough terrain. Lightning was tired, but Mater's spirits remained high. Frosty the snow plow, he sang. Back in town, Sheriff came up with a plan to find the fuel thieves. Luigi and Guido would be scouts. Sally was in charge of maps, and Fillmore would make fuel to keep the search party going. Moments later, Fillmore discovered that his fuel making supplies had been stolen. <gasps> Now he wouldn't be able to fuel the townsfolk for the hunt. <gasps> <There you go. laughs> no, we don't have a soundboard. <laughs> Luckily, Sarge had a plan. Buck up, soldiers. We'll pull our remaining fuel for Luigi and Guido, and they'll track the thieves, he said. Way up north, Mater and Lightning were exhausted. They both yeah. sang carols to keep themselves awake. All I want for Christmas is my two front tires, my two front bonk. All of a sudden, Mater hit a striped pole. The North Pole! We found it, buddy! Shouted Mater. I really need to watch more Christmas or uh, Disney tires. movies oh. to get the sound effects in. It was the North Pole, all right, and it was beautiful. Snow covered garages lined the paths, tiny elf cars bustled about. And in the center of it all was Santa Car himself. Mater was overjoyed. Lightning was amazed. Santa Car is real, Lightning gasped. Welcome to the <clears throat> Welcome to the North Pole, gentlemen, said Santa Car. Santa Car was glad that his new friends had brought their letters all this way, but he had some bad news. Christmas may be cancelled this year, he said, sadly. No, Christmas, cried Mater. The reindeer snowmobiles that fly me around the world have been stolen, <gasps> said Santa Car. Just then, Mater remembered Chick and his friends acting suspiciously at Flo's. Chick Hicks took your reindeer, he cried. The reindeer, the, the reindeer are fed top secret fuel that helps them fly, said Santa Car. The fuel, that's why he took them, exclaimed Lightning. Chick will do anything to win a race. All comes back to racing. How rude. I tow you down to Radiator Springs to find your reindeer. Oh, sorry. I tow you down to Radiator Springs to find your reindeer, Mr. Santa Car. But we'd never make it in time to save Christmas, offered Mater. But Santa Car had a better idea. He filled Mater's tank with a special flying fuel. This is very reminiscent of Rudolph. As Mater prepared to tow Santa Car to Radiator Springs, he proudly showed off the antler hat that Mrs. Santa Car had knit him for the journey. <coughs> How does a car knit? Like, for real. It's with still the, thinking with, about this. With the gear shifter? Hmm, the mirrors. Back in Ornament Valley, Luigi and Guido scouted the canyons for the fuel thieves. 
From a cliff, they spotted Chick and his posse making fuel with Fillmore supplies. Santa cars, reindeer, snowmobiles were there too. All of a sudden, two of Chick's pals cornered Guido and Luigi. Ha! You're too late, boys! Chick shouted at Guido and Luigi. We already reverse engineered the flying fuel. I'll fly around the track and never lose a Lightning McQueen again. And you know the best part? No more Christmas. No more dirty oil filters in my stocking. If I can't have presents, no one can. <laughs> they they took their tires and put them on blocks. <laughs> uh, is that like reminiscent of cutting someone's hands and feet off? Yes, I went there. <laughs> uh, welcome to Melly Ventures where we get dark sometimes. <laughs> Moving on. Suddenly the air filled with the sound of jingling bells. Soundboard. The air suddenly filled with jingling bells. Jingle, jingle. Thank you. Then Mater soared over the hill, towing lightning and Santa car. Chick raced away, flying just above the ground. <coughs> lightning flew after him. Santa car had filled his tank with the magic fuel back at the North Pole. Meanwhile, Sheriff and the townsfolk followed Guido and Luigi's tracks right to Chick's posse. They set Guido, Luigi, and the reindeer free. Chick was flying fast, but he was no match for Lightning, who knew each turn by heart. Remember, if you're gonna go left, turn right. I do remember that from the movie. As Chick came to a sharp curve, he turned too late, smacked into a giant cactus, and spun out of control. <laughs> Doc and Mater joined Lightning on the cliff to take a look at the wreckage. Have fun fishing, Mater, said Doc. Tow him straight to jail. Point, point. Like jail. Point. Ah. Back in town, the Radiator Springs gang celebrated the capture of the fuel thieves with Santa Car and his reindeer snowmobiles. Well, we better hit the road, said Santa Car. You know, we could use some help delivering these presents. Mater's eyes lit up. What do you say, Mater? Would you help me bring Christmas? asked Santa Car. Sure thing, yelled Mater. Let's get it done. It literally says, let's get it done. Let's get her done. The townsfolk all cheered. Mater had saved Christmas. Wait, 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 wait. Bring in some Jim Carrey, correct? All righty then. I hope you guys enjoyed the story tonight. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, I think it was more about the uh, sound effects than the story. Cha-ching! Uh, but until next time, make sure you guys stay safe. Stay magical. And keep adventuring. We'll see you next on the next Vlogmas.